All right, guys, you we rolling? Yep. Okay, so since Andre um, is shooting 300 blacktop today, I figured I might address this with you guys. And uh, if it'll help one person, I might as well address it to all you, so it'll help you guys as well. Um, we're talking about 300 blackout. Jeez, can't spell. Um, so how we zero and trajectory for 300 blackout. Again, this is gonna be quick, um, but it should give you a good overview. So we're gonna take some assumptions. He's got some 147 grain full metal jacket. But otherwise, it's an unknown ammunition. He doesn't know exactly what the velocity is, and we don't know exactly what the ballistic coefficient is. So we're going to take some uh, educated guesses on this, and I'm going to give you a velocity of, let me consult my notes. Um, so he's using a 10-inch barrel. Uh, you guys may be 9 inches. You might be 9 and a half, uh, 8 inches. It might be 12-inch barrel. It's going to be fairly similar here. We're going to take some assumptions here. We're going to use a G1 ballistic coefficient. And that's going to be equal to 0.396. Again, this is an educated guess for 147 grain full metal jacket. Uh, there's different bullets out there, many different. They're all going to be fairly similar. We're going to take a muzzle velocity guess at 1,700, give or take, feet per second. Now that translates out to 518 meters per second, which is going to play a role in a second because I want you to switch over to a metric system as soon as uh, possible for my Americans. We have a sight height for standard AR-15, which is 2.6 inches, and that's gonna be equal to 6.6 .6 centimeters, okay? Next thing is uh, we're gonna establish our parameters of uh, margin of error. So basically we're gonna say plus or minus, this is the American method, plus or minus nine inches. That means if you aim for the center of the bad guy, that at your apex, at your max ordinate height is gonna be nine inches high. So if you aim for the center, which is right where the stomach is, you'll be in the upper chest. And if you um, are at the, your max point blank range, you're gonna be at the, at the belt buckle or down here in the belly. Okay, so plus or minus nine inches, and that's the American way to do it. Uh, if we talk about the Russian way, the Soviet way to do it, it's gonna be aim at the belt buckle and all your shots are gonna be high. But using the standard American method, this is going to give us, we'll translate that to centimeters, a 22.86 centimeter max ordinate height, max ord, max ord, max ordinate height. Maximum ordinate height is the tallest point where your bullet is going to go above your line of sight. So now, uh, let's, uh, I already ran the charts for you guys. It took me a few minutes to, to get this dialed up. Again, this is based upon a certain set of assumptions, but it's a very good typical set of assumptions for, uh, just kind of run of the mill, uh, basically 762 NATO bullet loaded in a 300 blackout case. And it's a supersonic ammunition as we can see from the velocity here. And this is going to be typical for, uh, for a shorter barrel, so like eight to 10 inches, uh, will be like this. Now, uh, basically we're gonna have our metrics like this. Our near zero, our near zero is gonna be 15 meters. Our far zero is gonna be 212 meters. Oh, by the way, um, I gave you a few, uh, this basic parameters, but there's a few assumptions I did not tell you. Uh, we're at STP, standard temperature and pressure. So that means 15 degrees Celsius. And uh, here at this facility uh, for Monarch Defense in Northern California, we're at an altitude of 762 meters, uh, or uh, which is about 2,500 uh, feet ASL, above sea level. All right, so um, this uh, will be different for you. But again, it's going to be close enough for the vast majority of you guys to get good value out of this. So you'll notice uh, some of you guys are doing 50 yard zeros on 300 blackout. And I'll tell you straight up that that is very inefficient. That is the wrong way to make your zero. Um, so here's our zero meters. Uh, this is, of course, your weapon. This is your barrel and your front sight. This is your eyeball with your pretty eyelashes. All right. So we have a starting distance of 6.6 .6 centimeters negative or 2.6 inches. We're going to rise up into our um, line of sight at 15 meters, our near zero point. We're going to apex now, uh, which as you guys should know, um, if you're studying ballistics, the apex is going to be roughly 59% between uh, the zero distance to your far zero, right? So your zero meters, your muzzle to far zero at 59% of that, you're going to have your apex, which is going to be right here. So above is your apex. Uh, this distance right here, we call this max ord. This distance will be, of course, 23 centimeters. That's a three. My apologies. 23 centimeters. I'm trying to go fast, bad handwriting. 23 centimeters. All right, so we're going to apex this distance at about 119 meters. Our far zero is going to be 212 meters, as I mentioned. And that's going to be exactly point of aim, point of impact with this set of parameters. 
And then your max point blank range, we cut this off right here. This is called your max PBR, point blank range. This is the distance at which you can look, point, aim, shoot, and hit a man-sized target. Again, we're making an assumption similar to the US military's uh, uh, parameters, which is plus nine inches, minus nine inches off the center of the target. So in other words, this will allow you to hit a target which is 18 inches wide, 18 inches tall, out to uh, 250 meters exactly. That's a happenstance. I didn't engineer it that way. That's just how it came out. So uh, this is not very useful because most of you guys don't have a 15 meter shooting range. Now, what I want you to do is set up a 25 meter uh, shooting range for BZO, 25 meters. You're gonna get yourself zeroed at 25 meters, and then you're gonna push your point of impact up by positive 4.1 centimeters. So in other words, if you get zeroed at 25 meters, and then you push your point of impact up by 4.1 centimeters, you're gonna be done and you'll have this ideal trajectory. Now this method of uh, building a custom trajectory and a custom zeroing uh, point, this is called the max PBR zero method, the max point blank range zeroing method. And this is what we do if we have odd barrel lengths or unique calibers um, or uh, new calibers or subsonic calibers or pistol caliber carbines or really, really tall sights. My name is Brian Wang. Our school is called Monarch Defense. You can follow us online at Monarch Defense on Instagram, uh, YouTube. You can also find us on Instagram at our new channel, combat underscore rifle underscore school. See you later.